China has pulled ahead of Western countries in many categories during the past two years. It's now the world's biggest exporter, largest car market, and the country with the highest number of internet users. But China's breakneck economic development and growing affluence has also come with an unwelcome distinction. The country is now home to more diabetics than any other nation in the world. Crowded public hospitals such as this are commonplace throughout China. And thanks to changing lifestyles and diets, many of the patients coming through the doors here are newly diagnosed diabetics as China confronts a growing epidemic. Diabetes is a chronic disease in which a sufferer's body is unable to self-regulate the amount of sugar in their blood. According to the World Health Organization, it now affects more than 250 million people worldwide. Over time, diabetes can damage the heart, blood vessels, eyes, kidneys, and the nerves. The illness kills about 3.8 million people each year, most from heart disease. It's the cause of roughly 5% of all deaths worldwide, and on average, one person dies every 10 seconds as a result of diabetes. It's easy to see then that the economic, social, and human tolls of this disease are devastating. And for many in China, a diagnosis can mean financial ruin. Take Gu Xuanzhu and her young daughter, for example. Every month, her family spends roughly two-thirds of its overall income caring for her diabetes. I have to spend more than $290 every month to treat my disease, and it's a big burden on my family. Stories such as these are far from unique in China. According to a recently published report, it is estimated that there are now more than 92 million diabetics in China, meaning that roughly one out of every 10 Chinese is thought to be diabetic. But it wasn't always this way. In 1979, less than 1% of the population was diagnosed as diabetic. While some experts believe that the actual percentage might have been higher in the past due to undiagnosed cases, one thing is clear. The prevalence of diabetes in China has been increasing in lockstep with the country's development. A recently published study suggests that the proportion of diabetics in China is now nearly equal to that in the U.S., where almost 9% of the adult population is diabetic. And the number of those afflicted with the disease is growing at an alarming rate here. More than 1.5 million new cases are being reported each year on average. Health experts also worry that because of undiagnosed cases, the actual number of diabetics in China might be even higher. According to Liu Hongfan, the Associate Chief of Internal Medicine at the Dongzhimen Hospital in Beijing, the reasons for the growing number of diabetics range from increasing obesity to lack of exercise to poor eating habits. She estimates that more than 90% of the diabetics in the country suffer from adult-onset diabetes, a form of the disease specifically induced by those three causes. And, like many experts with first-hand experience of the diabetes epidemic in China, Leo expects the problem here to get worse as living standards continue to improve. As China's economy develops further, more and more people can afford to buy high-fat foods in their daily life. As a result, the number of diabetics will keep on increasing. The economic consequences of this growing health problem in China could be disastrous for the country. The World Health Organization estimates that in the period lasting from 2006 to 2015, China will lose $558 billion in national income due to heart disease, stroke, and diabetes combined. Much of this lost income stems from lost productivity and lost man hours. Many families struggle to keep up with the cost of treating diabetes and its complications. And some, whether because they live in a remote location or simply due to a lack of money, cannot get the medicine they need to treat the disease. Thanks to government reforms last year, nearly 1.2 billion Chinese citizens now have some form of basic medical insurance. But this coverage is often minimal, and diabetics in China often have to pay many of their medical expenses out of pocket. For cost reasons, as well as for tradition and custom, many diabetics in China choose to treat their illness with a combination of Western medicine and traditional Chinese medicine. According to Leo, this gives diabetics in China a big advantage when it comes to treating the disease. Sometimes Chinese medicine can be more effective than using Western medicine alone. For example, when patients have diabetic complications, they often use Chinese medicine because it is effective for treating problems with the kidneys and other internal organs. But traditional Chinese medicine isn't a cure-all. 
And some Western doctors are hesitant to prescribe such treatments because there haven't been enough clinical studies done on many of these techniques to prove their effectiveness. Whatever the most effective treatment options are, some health professionals now believe that as China continues its march toward becoming a developed country, the best way to forestall the diabetes epidemic will be to educate the public on how best to avoid becoming diabetic in the first place. We should tell everybody about this disease. That's the only way we can effectively control the spread of diabetes. Zach Reff, BON.